something in the district or look at different options. But you know, uh, <clears throat> if you guys did approve it with a condition, uh, you know, I guess everybody would just be crossing their fingers if that would work out. I mean, you you know, some people could move away; it could work out. So, um, if you guys are approving, uh, just going forward with it, and, and that happens, obviously, we're gonna be very appreciative of that as well. Ms. Hall, you got 45 kids, huh? Yeah, and I, I said I have to eat my words because it was my recommendation to Mr. McGee, you know, that we not fill the um, kindergarten position that was um, attributed to Kara Fitzpatrick um, moving to you. And at that time, we had 38, and we received 10 new kindergartners to that decision was made. So I have to be honest, it wasn't something I was expecting. Well, but had it not been that position, it would have had to been something else cut because yeah. of the fact the members did not count and we were looking for ways to reduce the budget. Right, and this was so that's not you know we're not certainly not blaming you in that in that regard at all. Um, Is that the uh, kindergarten and T1? There are seven students that are currently in the T1, so we could put 13 more kindergarten. Yeah. I would have advised it just because of you know, the nature of T1, but accreditation one is impossible. Well, the number six of our non resident policy does state the district will not admit non resident students, and to do so would require the hiring of additional staff. The provision of educational services is not certainly provided in schools for the starting of the credit teaching class. <coughs> The way I see it, we've got five openings, close to 13, 15 years. So. That's including, the 13 is including us. We didn't have five. The class already has kindergarten. So we don't have 13 additional. Just not counting. So counting this to these five, you can get to 45. And you can go to 50, is what you said? I think we're at 47. With these five. That would put, if we put 13 instead of, if we had 20, 20, and 10, that would give us 50 kids, but we could theoretically do 20, 20, and 13. So we're at either 47 or 40. <coughs> well, and understand also for those who are in district, taxpayers who are sending their students to school looking at, at a possible large class, some, you know, there probably will not be a positive response to that because we've, we've had good numbers in those classes. On the other hand, because the middle did not pass, there are adjustments that we are all going to have to, to face. One of those adjustments is the fact that we, did, we do make money off of our non-resident students that come into our school district. So there's that to think about too. So, you know, the board were to accept these things, we do have the planning session, the budget workshop in August, and the two board meetings for which I could devise some kind of plan that we like for me to come up with to manage the situation. I guess that's what you want to And all of these students are current, have currently registered, I believe. There are already Even though I hate to do it, I mean, I, I still think that we should accept them with the option that we look at another um, brief set of time when, that, when we do that, but we do until registration in office. We don't have the ability to, if we have to, I mean, I I don't want to do that, and I and I have great empathy for the, for the families who have children, other siblings that are going here, that those classes are not overload. 
but on the other hand, I don't think it's fair that we overload the kindergartners. That's a crucial time in school. They need to have, you know, that their numbers need to be of a, of a range that they get that foundation that they need. And by bringing those individuals in and putting us over that, I don't think that's fair either. I, I, I think those parents would probably agree with me. I mean, it's not. It's not, of course, I realize my husband always says there's only one chair, and that's in August. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but still, I mean, and, and, and the possibility, I mean, I, I, I think it will all work out. I, I, I'm fairly certain that it will all work out, but I think we need to give us the ability to, to do that. I think if we don't do that, then we're going to have some individuals in here that are, be, that are going to be concerned about us letting, getting it to the point that these classes are, are too, too big. Do we need to state that in the motion, though, since it's important for all things? So we'll, you know, we have to I don't, take a look at it. I don't, think we, I don't think we do have to, because it is no, more policy, as long as the parents understand that that's a possibility. Now, can we do one motion for the list of kids? Yes, you can. I think so, yes. For the, for the we need to accept the following students with each of the students. <laughs> So does the whole board understand what, where we're coming from? Because that's what the policy states, and, and there would be a, there might be a possibility that we might have to come back to these kindergarten parents. I don't think we will, but we can understand that. Okay. So Dorothy, if you want to do one motion, you can do a motion that says move to accept the new non-resident student applications as presented. <laughs> Further discussion? Call for the question of both in favor? Aye. Okay. This is uh, the information about the district policy is in their application that they fill out also. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. So, those of you that were here for that particular <coughs> discussion on the agenda, you're welcome to stay if you'd like. Um, but you're also, you know, you're absolutely free to leave if you'd like. I know it's warm in here and you When will the final determination be as far as whether they are allowed in or not? You know that. Okay. Yeah, what, 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 August 7th. And I would think at that, I think at that point, we're going to, we'll make that decision. We open the doors on the 17th now. I'll be calling a special board meeting in order to see you. On the 18th, that we get enrolled. Cool. Yeah. Just no, I was just saying because we would need some time to obviously make other arrangements. Yeah, at that point we'll too. make a decision right after registration because I don't want to wait until the day before school and going, oh my gosh, where is my child going? That's not fair either. Okay. So, thank you. you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> I move on to review of the current out of district students non resident student application. Well, we have. Uh, Was there a question me? back there? Yeah, I've got a question. When you went through the list of out of district students transferring in, you didn't mention my ninth grader. So I'm also. Has she been in school before? Uh, Torin Lawson. Uh, no, yeah. Not since. Not since. What was the name? First grade. Or Lawson. He'd be a freshman this coming up this coming year. He did go here at kindergarten and first grade. But he'd be a new student? He would be a new student now, yes. Okay, I will have to talk with you about that. Um, I think that would be confusing for the Kelly because Kelly came in in May and left for the new Yeah, we saw that application is not being seen. In this motion, I will give you a call tomorrow and I will get this straightened out. Okay, yeah, I'm going to ask you to trade that in yeah. December. Yeah. It's, on. it's on the it's sheet. On the, it's on this sheet. But it's a new application. It's a new one that exists. No, it's a new one, but it's on the sheet of all of your other It's not an ad I can bring that up at the June. 2017. You can give a call tomorrow and get that straight out. We've got a list of new applications here, and it's one of the teams right here I have. And so 
you know, we can go ahead and if the board wants to do that application, uh, I've got to check this back. <coughs> I've got to check this back to make sure that we can do more to bring him in under tonight's nice motion if you want. We're going to do good applications, so we can work that out. Yeah. We can do that.